Well, I'm going to steal one from a designer called Brendan Dawes. Um, and he once said, if you want to be a more interesting designer, become a more interesting person. Because I think that most of the people who I, when I interview people and the people I'm kind of looking for are, have two, two key abilities. One is uh, they don't really fit in anywhere else. So almost always when someone says, well, I go, so what do you do? And they go, well, I, you know, I, I do this one thing over here, but I do this other thing over here. And I really see the relationship between the two, but no one else ever seems to. And I haven't really ever found the role that suits me. Um, they, I often want to hire them because they, they kind of get it. Um, and then the second thing is, is the, this ability to see patterns quickly and to, uh, to understand the connections and, and to be able to go from that mentally to flip backwards and forwards between that, that small detail and that big picture and do it very high frequency and be comfortable kind of moving backwards and forwards. Those are the, the two skills. And my opinion is, having taught masters and bachelor's students too, I kind of think if you haven't already got that kind of mind, uh, at from at school uh it's it's pretty hard to learn it later on uh you know you can i can teach you about but service design i can teach you lots of methods i can teach you stuff uh you know to actually do the work but yeah. the, the kind of yeah. way of thinking yeah. sort of needs to be there oh, already and i ha i haven't really sussed out exactly where it happens yet 